Hey everybody, so welcome back to the Philly Sports Podcast. Today I'm going to be going over the MLB draft and the two uh, top prospects I'm going to be discussing in today's video. So before we get started in today's video, make sure you hit the like button. Also make sure you hit the subscribe button with the notification bells on so you'll be instantly notified when I upload a new video. And then you can also find me in my socials down linked in the description down below. And with that being said, let's hop right into it. So in today's video... Uh, I'm going to be going over the draft, which is going to be held in Atlanta, like I mentioned, between the 11th and the 13th of July. So before we get, I get into like the the top prospects, that's going to be later in, in today's video. I wanted to you know discuss the first round or for the picks in the first round. Pittsburgh has the first overall pick. Texas is second. The Texas Rangers second. Detroit third overall. Boston fourth, Baltimore fifth, the Diamondbacks sixth, uh, Kansas City seventh, Colorado eighth, uh, the Angels ninth, the Mets tenth, the Nationals eleventh, the Seattle Mariners, my Philadelphia Phillies thirteenth, the Giants fourteenth, the Brewers fifteenth, Miami sixteenth, Cincinnati seventeenth, St. Louis the eight eighteenth. Toronto 19th, the Yankees 20th, uh, Chicago Cubs 21st, 22nd for the White Sox, 23rd to the Indians, 24th to the Atlanta Braves, 25th to the Oakland Athletics, 26th to the Minnesota Twins, 27th to the Padres, 28th to the Rays, 29th to the Dodgers, and that's the, that's pretty much the first round right there, 1-29. to 29. So, and, I mean, obviously, you can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video. Um, the two prospects I'm going to be, t- to be talking about is Kumar Rocker and Jack Leiter. Now, these guys, these two pitchers come, who are coming are hailing or coming out of the uh, Vanderbilt University, you know, under head coach Tim Corbin, you know, especially, I mean, Jack Leiter, I mean, and, and basically Kumar are like the most like talked about you know, MLB prospects come for this upcoming draft. You know, it's, you know, you know, and I want to discuss with Jack. Jack Leiter is like on a whole nother uh, level right now um, at, uh, at, at Vanderbilt. And like, you know, coming out of Del Barton, New Jersey, out of, out of coming out of Del Barton High School in Summit, New Jersey, He's he's listed at 6'1", 205 pounds. He's a sophomore at Vanderbilt University. Um, I mean, it's let's see. The ones to, the the craziest part is he 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 has held opponents to an 0.98 batting average against him. He also has not a lot of run in his first three appearances. Did not allow a home run. Uh, he struck out twelve t- entire tossed five scoreless innings against South Alabama. And, I mean, he's got a lot of accolades, and you know his his dad his dad Al Leiter he pitched in the major leagues, and you know he, he has his he looks similar similar to him to light to uh, to him. His uncle Mark had a, a late eleven year major league career as a as a right-handed pitcher from 1990 to 2001. And his cousin, Mark Jr., only pitched in two seasons for the majors in t- between 2017 and 2018. So, yeah, I mean, because, and I, and I, you know, before Jack Leiter, um, Kumar was pretty much the talked about, talked about, you know, who, where he's going to fall into, into the draft. Um, basically, my prediction is I feel like Jack Leiter is going to go one, Kumar two in those order because, you know, because because I think, you know, obviously, you know, I just like, you know, you know, how could you not go wrong with Jack Leiter? You know, I mean, you know, have a pitcher that, you know, is very, is, I mean, has huge dominance, even at the college level, like. You know, holding, you know, you know, holding, you know, God, thing, yeah, holding opponents to an 0.98 average. Um, 
I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, Kumar, yeah, that's the thing too. I think Kumar, as much as he was talked about before Jack Leiter came onto the scene, um, it's, you know, I feel like just Jack Leiter pretty much took over that pitching staff, basically, as kind of the ace of the staff, basically. So, in just this year alone, he is 7-2 and two with a 2-1-0 ERA with 106 strikeouts. Holy shit. And yeah, exactly. It's like, he is like, like video game numbers that he's been putting up. I mean, he has one complete game, one sh- a complete game shutout. He's pitched 64 in the one-third innings pitch, given up a 28 hits, 19... 19- Actually, yeah. So uh, let me, before I you know read his, this year's stats, let's go back to 2020. You know the shortened pandemic season for college baseball. He went two and zero with a one seven two ERA and four appearances with three games started. Pitched fifteen and two thirds innings pitched, gave up five hits, three runs, eight oh God, eight walks, twenty two strikeouts, three wild pitches, and a, and a hit by pitch. Um, 2021. Which is his first full season at Vanderbilt. Take so he's seven and two with a two one zero ERA, going eleven the eleven appearances, eleven of them all started with a complete game shutout, sixty four th- pitching, uh, sixty four and one thirty one third innings pitched with twenty eight hits, you know, giving up nineteen runs, twenty nine walks, one hundred and six strikeouts, two wild pitches. Uh, one hit by a pitch, and opponent's opposing batting average is 128. So, now, I mean, obviously, you know, we've we all been talking, the entire baseball world has been kind of been talking about Kumar and Jack Leiter, despite the fact they're coming out of a baseball powerhouse, you know, that produced talent like uh, David Price, Dansby, Swan- Dansby Swanson from the Atlanta Braves. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, they know how to develop, you know, like first round talent, you know, and basically, I mean, you you could see it if you if you're not watching any bit in the Vanderbilt games, I highly recommend you do. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think, and you know where they go, where where do you think they're going to fall in the draft? Let me know in the comments down below. But with that being said, this is Robert from the Philly Sports Podcast. I'll see you guys in the next video.